Uh, listen, not that there was any drama to the decision, but it was made official in Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, and that is Nick Saban has tapped sophomore Bryce Young as the starting quarterback for Alabama. This will be the gets their season opener against Miami. He backed up soon-to-be Patriots starter Mac Jones last year in Tuscaloosa, and here teammates bragging on their new starting quarterback. Bryce is a field general. Um, that's how I would describe him. I feel like there's nothing he can't do. I think versatile dynamic would be the word. Um, being able to make plays, um, just be a, be a really good playmaker. I'm confident in him. And I'm just ready to go out there and see him do it. You know, he wakes up every day and he works to be the best. You know, he, he leads by example. What's the most important to Bryce right now is just doing his job, having a great impact you know, on this offense and on this team and, you know, stepping up and being a great leader on the offense side of the ball and, you know, living up to, you know, his name. Young gets his first start against the Miami team, seeking its 10th all-time win over the AP number one team, which would be the most such wins in FBS history. The Canes also have De'Eric King. He's thrown for over nearly 500 yards in his career, responsible for over 100 touchdowns. Young has just one in his short career. A similar story, Greg, here in terms of quarterbacks like we will see in Georgia and Clemson. So how do you size up the quarterback matchup between the senior and the sophomore? Well, you'd always love to have experience in this particular case, and Derek King has obviously played remarkably well over the course of his career. Unfortunately for Derek King is that his progress within Rhett Lashley's offense was halted because he wasn't able to participate in any of spring, and he only got to experience a little bit of summer at full speed. So he was cleared medically coming off the ACL tear that he experienced in the bowl game in June, which means he missed an awful lot of time to grow and develop and develop chemistry with some of those wide receivers that he has on the outside. Now, he's played in big games before. He will give this Miami team every opportunity to be successful, but he's going to have to do so at a level in which he's never had to do so before. He does have capable pieces around him, but the Alabama defense is no joke. Love the experience, Des, but I don't like their chances of being successful on Saturday. <laughs> I bet you don't. You're right. Alabama's defense is no joke. I tell you what, when you look at Bryce Young, though, you know, this is a guy who doesn't have the experience of De'Aaron King. But outside of that, when you talk to people, not only in Tuscaloosa, but people who've seen him practice, people who are at the spring game. I spoke to Joey Galloway. I spoke to Kirk Herbstreet. They said that this young man has the it factor. Now, he's kind of small, kind of slight. But when it comes to throwing the ball, ball placement, he has the goods. And you know they're going to constantly put him in winning situations. This is a young man with a tremendous amount of confidence. Don't forget, he was a five-star coming out of high school. He spent a year learning from Mac Jones last season, so he understands what the expectations are, and he knows what it takes to be a successful quarterback at Alabama. This is going to be a very interesting game because Manny Diaz, though, is taking over the Canes' defense. So now I want to see what type of wrinkles he's going to throw at young Bryce Young. <laughs> and what a huge opportunity here. Obviously, Alabama coming in as the reigning defending champs, the top team in the country until proven otherwise. What, what a win it would be for Miami. Again, an outstanding week one slate. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.